Hi guys, it's Nazo Diego aka your soul sister. I'm back with another video, a new fresh video for the month. Uh, I'm so excited to be back and um, actually I'm just excited to be back with another video and in the previous month I had told myself that I am going to do three videos on a monthly basis but I've realized that that is not enough and you know I actually thought three videos in a month is a lot I didn't think people would want to you know um, get so many videos from me but I've realized that um, actually people care about what I have to say I'm joking but like you know um, I just didn't like the idea of going silent and also receiving support and seeing people watch the videos and people subscribing I just feel like I have like a responsibility to re like to upload each and every week you know so if we have four weeks in a month I'll do four videos if we have five weeks in a month i'll do five videos i'd like to thank you so much for subscribing liking and commenting and to the new people on here who haven't subscribed on the channel please do hit the subscribe button and the people that are returning and haven't subscribed please do the right thing for your sis <laughs> so today um what i wanted to talk about and I feel like it's such an important topic because you know in this channel I had said that we're going to talk about life issues you know things that relate to self-improvement things that are aligning with your light and I am going to speak from the heart and talk about the things that I find relatable to me, talk about things that are going to heal me as a human, talk about things that can improve other women's lives, things that can improve my life, you know, because when you help other people, you help yourself as well. So the question that I have today for you is, who are you taking your advice from? And I've been thinking about how we always have this idea of stepping outside ourselves to seek or ask for advice, more like we don't trust our intuition, we don't trust that we can make the best uh, decision for ourselves, you know. So that's what I wanted to touch on, you know. I wanted to touch on how it's important to practice caution and discernment when taking advice from someone else. I think it is very important and vital for you to ask yourself um, some questions before you take advice from someone else. I mean, obviously when you're in your phase of not being sure about yourself or maybe when you're in your phase of growing, you always want people with experience to advise you on the best ways to navigate your life, right? So that you can make the right decisions and you can um, be the best vision of yourself possible, right? But then I just want us to be very cautious about who we take advice from and I think it's very important to ask yourself a few questions pertaining to taking advice from someone else and those questions could be uh, so um, those questions could be um, the person you're taking your advice from what mental state are they in what is their mental health state right what is their physical state in like you know like your physical mental emotional state if you're going to take advice from someone especially life advice that can change your life i think it's important to ask yourself like the person that you're receiving advice from mentally where are they you know i think it's also important to question someone's character when you're taking advice like what type of a person are they 
I think it's important to question the experience, what have they done, where they are in life, what advice do they have that is going to add value to your life. Because guys, you know, you must understand that advice can elevate your life or it can literally destroy your life. So we need to watch who we take advice from and we need to first go within ourselves um, to apply someone else's advice, you know. The reason for this is because I want us to always tap in our power. Obviously, you're not gonna have your life figured out every step of the way. You need people to guide you. Hence why when you're a child, you have a whole village raising you and you have your aunties, you have your mother, you have your um, grandparents guiding you to be um, the person that you meant to be, to just be amazing and in a healthy state, right? So, um, but as you grow older, you meet different types of people. Some of them you grow a close bond with, and some of them they just in your life for lessons, for experiences, whatever the reason may be. But um, this is why I mentioned in my previous video that um, it's very important for us to tap into our own intuition because then um, every answer that you are looking for is inside of you. Every answer that you are looking for is inside of you. Never doubt the voice and your intuition that tells you what direction that you need to take because your spirit will always guide you. Hence why I say that your advice, you need to watch where you take it from. You know, the reason for this is because, first of all, some people are not in the right mental state to be giving other people advice. Second of all, some people don't have good intentions for you. And thirdly, other people are sent, but they don't, they're not even aware, but they are sent by spirits, bad spirits, or even the devil is using them to come for your life or come for you. Hence why I say that it's very important to exercise caution when you're taking advice from someone else. Look at the person that you're taking advice from. Ask yourself, is this person where I want to be in life? And for me, I always pick people's brain. I don't care if you're, um, if you're a security or a cleaner, you're a CEO, whatever, whoever you are, I will always pick your brain because there's always something to learn from people's experiences. However, when it comes to advice, I think it's always important to go within your soul. It's always important to go to your intuition to ask what is the next step that I need to take now. Hence why, I encourage you guys to get into meditation because then meditation allows you to tap into your intuition. It allows you to just listen and respect the voice inside of you. And so I mean to say that I think it's time that you start trusting yourself. Start trusting the powerful being that you are. Start trusting the God that's inside of you because I've realized that people they're not in touch with themselves they don't even exercise asking themselves questions going inside themselves so then it brings me to the next question that if a lot of people aren't in touch with, with themselves they don't know who they are. What makes you think that they're going to give you the right advice? 
So this is where trusting yourself comes in, where trusting your intuition comes in. I think it's important to seek God more than we seek advice from other people. I think it's important that we seek our intuition, our, in our inner voice, more than we seek validation from other people. Because um, you are going to try and get advice from people that aren't fully aware of who they are, from people that don't even think uh, from people that aren't even critical thinkers people that take things as they are and not even digest and make up their own decisions people that aren't even leaders of their lives and you're going to take advice from that I'm not shooting anyone down I am not undermining anyone we learn from each and every person we come across. And I feel like with each and every experience, with um, each and every experience that we have with people, that's our time to learn, to grow, to better ourselves. But then I feel like when it comes to advice, we need to watch it because and advice can completely change your life without even you realizing. And I'm also guilty of this because I've taken advice from people that I feel like led me astray. And I have myself to blame because then I wasn't in touch with my intuition. I wasn't in touch with myself. I didn't trust myself. So I would always go around seeking for advice or seeking for validation. But, you know, for young women that are coming up and for young girls and even for women my age or older, I think it's very important that we, we trust ourselves because, you know, the, the most amazing thing that God has given us as women is our intuition, meaning that we are so powerful that we don't need someone else's advice to make life-changing um, decisions. All that you seek is within you. All the advice that you need is within you. You know what to do. You know what's the next step. So why go and take advice from other people? You know? And I want us to tap into that. I want us to realize our power. I want us to know that um, advice from just any and everybody can hinder your life. And that's what I have for today and it's just something that's been sitting with me because I have this experience and you know I feel like sometimes people would give you advice that you didn't even ask for and now you are left drained and it's just like like we need to respect other people's you know ways of life we need to respect other people's decisions we need to respect how other people think other people's practices other people's cultures and other people's belief system and um, I've only realized this as I now become a woman as I become mature at first I also didn't respect other people's choices and other people's decisions and but now I feel like the older I grow the more I just change and become different and feel like I am not entitled to someone else's life and how they should run their life like who am I who the hell do I think I am to want to, to, to decide for someone else and tell them how they should be living what they should be doing with their life or this is the best thing for them I have no rights and I just don't want to be that person anymore you know sometimes you give someone advice thinking that you have the best intentions for them thinking or oh, what you thinking that your idea the idea that you have of them and what they should be going for is the best but we need to allow people the space to decide for themselves like what is it that they want to do with their lives and stop giving advice for free.
that wasn't asked for, you know. So that's what I want us to encourage. I want us to empower each other, but I also want us to have boundaries. Have boundaries for yourself. When someone is coming in your direction sideways, put those boundaries in place. And also have boundaries in a sense that know when to not speak in someone else's life. Learn when to not have an opinion in someone else's life and let them live their life. Obviously, you're not going to allow people that you love, your family or your friends, to put themselves in danger, you know. In that case, you obviously, you step in, you ask them would they like for you to advise them on A, B, C and D because you've been down that road and you don't want them to have the same experience. But don't force yourself, don't force your ideas on someone else, you know. You can talk about your experiences, but don't force your ideas on someone else. And I, I want us to learn that. I want us to respect each other and value each other, empower each other, but have boundaries um, and have the discernment of mind in our business. Have, you know, the maturity of knowing when to speak and knowing when to shut the hell up. And that is it for the video. Thank you so much guys for tuning in and I'll be coming out with more videos and I hope you have liked the video. Uh, comment on the video, tell me if should we be giving unsolicited advice and tell me what you think, you know, like let's engage, let's have a conversation because I'm at a point where I feel like please don't give me advice that I didn't ask for, what do you think? And thank you so much for making it until the end. Yabuleli Ndobi. Yasema Kasebeni. Umamnune Umachai. Until the next video.